Welcome back, Movie Misfits. Today is Thursday, and you know what that means. Throwback flicks, which also means junk drawer flicks. Yes, dark, dark, dark. So, uh, I'm gonna look in our junk drawer to see what we got. We got a winner. This is an apocalyptic adventure film, and it's highly underrated, so I would definitely check it out. It's currently streaming for free on Amazon Prime, so please check it out. I'm Mike the Movie Misfit, and I'll see you at the movies. Anarchy, genocide, starvation. Then when it seemed things couldn't get any worse, we got the plague. The living death, quickly closing its fist over the entire planet. And then we heard the rumors that the last scientists were working on a cure that would end the plague and restore the world. Restore it? Why? I like the death. I like the misery. I like the <laughs> So as you can tell uh, by the narration and all the credits rolling by, this is not a Hallmark movie. You'd be correct. The guy is so dead, not even Jesus can save this guy's life. What you guys are thinking, and yes, in the 80s, if you too went to the gym, you got to be in an action movie. Or he's like, sorry, wrong movie. I thought this was the Rebel Resistance. Sorry. I'm so dead. They're posing for the front cover box of the movie. Oh, man, I'm so dead. Wait a minute. He's wearing sunglasses in one shot and not in the other shot. And yes, our badass villain, his name is Fender. Yes, Fender. He's named after a guitar. He's so cool. Whoa, whoa. Before you kill me... Can I see those beautiful eyes before I die? I like to go to heaven before I go down to hell. No Fender, you please the crowd so well. I saw the cyborg already, but I did not see the first name on the credits, which was Jean-Claude Van Damme. I need some Van Damage. And with that, the movie's now over. Roll credits. I was just joshing you. There's still more movie. So this is where the ex exposition comes in. Cyborg over here explains to Jean-Claude Van Damme that she needs his help because she needs to get across the city to Atlanta because she has very important data stored in her head and hopefully a cure for the plague that's currently happening right now. I hope this doesn't freak you out, but I'm trying some new conditioner right now. I do love, after all that exposition and pulling off her hair, Jean-Claude Van Damme's facial expression does not change. So the cyborg gets kidnapped and Jean-Claude Van Damme's going after them, but he really wants to fight off Fender because they have Van history. Van picks up a new sidekick played by Deborah Richter. And <laughs> so I highly recommend this movie. It's on a shoestring budget of $500,000 apparently. It's got some great action great locations, and they make good use of them. I don't want to give too much away, but it's streaming for free right now on Amazon Prime. I'm Mike the Movie Misfit, and I'll see you at the movies.